If the next quarter results do not pick up, there will be blood on the streets. This was the dire warning that Google employees have got from their executives as the tech giant quietly continued to pull back on hiring recruits. And not only Google, Microsoft, Uber, Apple, Tesla, Meta warned of serious times and fears headwinds ahead. Apple let go of about 100 contract-based employees recently. Twitter also slowed hiring in the second quarter and according to reports, it cut 30% of its hiring team. Google, Apple, Meta, Twitter, Uber. These are all basically bellwether companies. Global tech industry trends and indicators come from them. But while this is a reality, we also have an alternative reality. You must have read about high attrition rate in companies desperate to hire new tech talent. And this is also happening globally. Question is, how can both be true? On one hand, there is lack of talent. On the other, more layoffs in the line. What exactly are the global trends when it comes to the tech industry? And how should Indian young techies prepare? Let's tell you in this video. But before that, Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the Money Control channel. First off, let's understand why layoffs are happening. Short answer to that is, it's all about the money. Google's parent company, Alphabet, reported weaker than expected earnings and revenue for the second quarter in a row. Alphabet's profit was around $16 billion in the second quarter of 2022, down from $18.5 billion during the same period last year. Alphabet's Revenue growth slowed down as well to just 13% in the last quarter from 62% growth the year earlier. That's much below expectations for a company as big as Alphabet. Meta, the parent company for Facebook and Instagram, reported a drop in revenue for the first time ever this quarter. Meta's overall profit also fell 36%. Twitter also missed earnings expectations with results coming in around 11% below reported estimates, marking Twitter's biggest revenue miss ever. Even Microsoft had the slowest earning growth in two years. However, in the gloomy earnings season, Amazon and Apple seem to have bucked the trend. But despite this, even these two companies are being more deliberate in their spendings, which doesn't spell great news for hiring. But why is this really happening? During the pandemic, tech firms saw an unexpected, unprecedented, sudden boom, right? According to McKinsey, companies had to speed up on their digitization operations with a vast margin, considering so many of their services, supply chains, internal ops, all of that had to be put online. And who came to the rescue? It was the tech firms. So for an industry that successfully sailed through the COVID storm, which hit other sectors so bad, What's bothering the big tech companies now? Why are they looking to tighten budgets and push lesser number of employees to do more work? Three basic reasons why. Inflation, recession fears, and rising interest rates. Let's look at them one by one. Now, we all know that inflation, supply side pressures, the Ukraine war and other such factors have been affecting the market, especially in key markets like the US. And because of the fears of a possible recession, the management of companies are now being cautious in their expenditure, leading them to cut corners in some departments and even junk plans to hire new people. Now, rising interest rates, the US Fed has been raising interest rates to combat inflation and the tech industry especially is very sensitive to these rate hikes. Also, uncertainty in the global market, hike in the US interest rate, all of that leads to a stronger dollar. A stronger dollar means a weaker local currency. But you know the contrast, right? While tech companies are laying off people and tightening their purse strings really and trying to become more lean, efficient and are still looking for people. But the search at the moment for them is not just for number of people, it is for talent. Three out of four companies have reported talent shortage and difficulties in hiring. According to surveys, global talent shortage is at a 16-year high in IT and data is most in-demand skill. In fact, we talked about this in a detailed interview. You can check that out over here as well on skills and jobs that are in demand. But basically, 
this demand is for talent where indian it industries come into focus why experts are quite positive about the india story let's tell you that in india the top 3 it companies tcs infosys hcl tech employed 1.97 lakh more employees for the financial year 22 on the back of a rising attrition recently the wipro chairperson mr prem ji described the it industry situation in a interesting manner he said the it industry at the moment is a perfect storm and that's because of two main factors one is hometown migration people who went back home from metros during covid and were working from home with no active interest in returning back to the big cities and according to a report companies are now looking to hire from cities like coimbatore like kochi indore suburbs of hyderabad as well many young employees in the it sector were recruited from these two tier cities and more than half of them went back home during the pandemic and they don't want to return this is a challenge for companies because how will they build company cultures without employees actually being at work as a result several firms have now started opening offices in smaller cities the second factor is rising attrition do you know that nearly 40% employees in several organizations have been working in companies for less than 2 years crazy right so fears of recession have definitely hit the global tech firms because of the global economy slow down and no industry will be immune really when it comes to that but in the long term the deal is that the digital acceleration will continue so this spells good news for the industry as a whole especially for india which has a unique advantage of talent talent which is exactly what the global tech giants need nandan neelkani had an interesting view on this you know i i'm think longer term hmm. so but i think longer term the combination of the fact that india will have the finest pool of talent in the world at scale 500000 people a year and the fact that we have built infrastructure to train these people at scale means that we'll continue to be extremely relevant as a country to the global digital dig, digitization which is accelerating so did rishad prem ji rishad prem ji in fact said that people come to india essentially for cost they stay for quality and now we've become a true talent destination in the world so indian firms as we discussed are already moving closer to where the talent is same is true for global firms remote working is going to bring it jobs to india they get better talent and with work from home also it is going to be a cheaper affair win win really for all hope this video gave you a good insight into the big picture of how the tech industry is going to unfold in the times to come for more such content please like share and subscribe to the money control channel and leave your comments right here